The chain of survival shows the steps to take to increase a casualty's chance of survival in the event of a cardiac arrest. D for danger. Always check to see if it is safe to approach the casualty. Check for hazards to yourself or the casualty. R. Response. Check to see if the casualty res will respond to you. Shake the shoulders gently and talk loudly into each ear. Take care not to move the casualty unnecessarily. If you get no response from the casualty, call for help. Shout loudly to attract the attention of passers-by. A. Airway. Open the casualty's mouth gently by lowering the jaw. Look inside their mouth. Can you see anything? If there is nothing to be seen, open the casualty's airway by placing one hand on the casualty's forehead and with the fingers and thumb of your other hand, hold the bony part of their chin. Tilt the head back carefully and lift the chin. This will raise the tongue from the back of the mouth and open the airway. B. Breathing. Is the casualty breathing normally? Place your head close to the casualty's mouth. Listen. Can you hear the casualty making any breathing sounds? And can you feel any breath on your cheek? Look to see if both sides of the chest rise and fall. Do this for 10 seconds. At the same time as you are checking the casualty's breathing, look to see if there are any signs of life. Is the casualty swallowing? Is the abdomen moving? If the casualty is not breathing normally, ask your helper to call for further assistance and then begin chest compressions immediately. If no one has arrived to help you at this stage, you must leave the casualty and go and summon further help yourself. Basic life support is only a holding measure and will not restore the casualty to life. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR. The casualty must be lying on their back on a flat, hard surface. Put the heel of one hand in the centre of the casualty's chest. Place your other hand over the top, linking your fingers together. Lift your fingers to ensure there is no contact over their ribs. Keep your elbows straight and apply smooth downward pressure. Press down to a depth of between 5 and 6 centimetres, with your hand still in contact with the casualty's chest. Allow the chest to return to its original shape, recoil, before you depress the chest again. Continue to press the chest down 30 times at a speed of approximately 2 per second. Alternate 30 chest compressions with 2 breaths. To perform rescue breaths, you should keep the airway open by tilting the head and lifting the chin. Use the index finger and thumb of one hand to pinch the soft part of the casualty's nose and then use your other hand to support and allow the chin to fall open. Take a normal breath in. Place your lips around the casualty's lips to form a seal. Imagine that you are going to take a large bite from a piece of fruit. Blow steadily until the casualty's chest rises. Take your mouth away from the casualties and wait until their chest falls. Repeat this a second time. If the casualty's chest does not rise, reposition the head and then continue to perform 30 more chest compressions. Continue with chest compressions and rescue breaths until the casualty recovers, you become exhausted or further help arrives with additional equipment and automated external defibrillator AED. If you are concerned about the risk of infection when performing rescue breaths, there are simple devices that act as a barrier. Other equipment includes a pocket mask or a bag valve mask device if available. If you do not have any of these items of equipment available to you and you are unwilling to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, you should perform chest compressions continuously.